Um, I'm working in the banking industry for the last 20 years and uh, I was I joined the bank as a specialist in IT and I was working in IT for a long more than 15 years and I was handling all aspects of IT starting from a developer joined the bank as a software developer then I was in the networking and uh, then operations so that gave a brief idea about how the secure IT is and uh, when I was an IT uh, operation head I was more into de delivering the solutions for the business at the right time. Now, when I made the CISO of the bank, my perspective of thought has changed. Here, I see how securely we are delivering the service. That is a change of thought process and started looking into the deeper of the risk aspects of a solution. And since I was in IT itself, so I, it was easy for me to identify the gaps in the system because we know better about the system and uh, it was easy for me to fix the system at the right time. See, technology is always evolving and security professionals should be aware of the business as well as the technology. And based on that only we can come identify the gaps in the system and we have to give a mitigation plan also or how we can counteract to that. So always we should be updating the latest technology but which is very difficult because all, Otherwise, also we are very busy with many other things. But uh, these conferences like this, uh, where all the uh, business organizational experts will be here, they will be ch ch sharing their thoughts with us. And uh, other, uh, like uh, going to now, a lot of blogs and everything is available. There are different groups also, where especially for CEOs, where we exchange our thought process. So these are the ways uh, wherein I am trying to update myself. See, I feel like cyber security should be a culture. It should be part of our day-to-day -day life and that is for our customers as well as employees. So when they feel that this is, they should be made aware why we have to follow the cyber security rules. Because when I am giving a password or multi-factor authentication has been given, we should give the feel that it is for their safety and to secure their money we are doing it. So when something is done for themselves or for ourselves, we will be more keen in following it. Otherwise, it will be a kind of a restrictions for them. So oh, the, this message should be uh, percolated across the industry as well as through the society so that cyber security should be made as a practice of their day to day life. And you know all the attacks starts most of the about 75% of the attacks starts with phishing mail. So we should keep them aware about the phishing, what are the different types of phishing attacks which is happening, how people are doing social engineering to get into the system. So all those things will be, we are uh, continuously doing phishing simulation exercises and uh, we were sending newsletters to our employees as well as customers, uh, letting them know these are the type of frauds and they are, this is the way which has been used by fraudsters to get into or take away their money. So that kind of all these SMS and uh, even video bytes are we are sending to the people as well as our employees to educate them about the cyber awareness. Yeah, I'm a uh, frequent speaker in uh, ETC, so I'm very, I'm really thankful for you to invite me this time in my own place, my God's own country. And I'm really glad that and I'm expecting you people to host this every year here itself so that people like us will be more happy. And uh, this definitely it is a uh, forum wherein we can have uh, interaction with other sub subject experts as well as solution vendors where it is a one shot area. We have to spend two days to get the entire idea.